Good afternoon everyone, my name is Super Report CLA, and of course pretty much worn out today due to chemistry needs to point that out. But anyway guys, how are you guys doing on YouTube? That's right. The Silver Rap Ploy coming to you loud looking fresh in the flesh on the next one on stream and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're into the video from the Angry Grandpa show. Now I wasn't intended to react to this because I know Michael and Tina and the others got stuff going on between them and Tina and they had a lot of stuff they had a lot of stories about her in the past, but yeah, I w almost didn't want to react to this, but one person requested me to, so I guess my better judgment, I might as well react to it, because I know some people are probably going to request me to react to the new video from the Angry Grandpa show when a new one comes out, so... This one is called, What Happened to Tina, The Truth Revealed. I know Michael was talking about that on his vlog recently, and he was going to upload it today, so... I guess my better judgment, I'm going to react to it for you guys, and before I get started, make sure to subscribe to the Angry Grandpa Show and other channels, keep on the camera, Bridge West. I'm going to add the channels in the credits, comments, and the outro of the video, and with that said, let's go roll this clip, we shall see how it goes. Roll clip now. What's going on, you guys? Mm -hmm. Keep me on the camera here. So we're up, let's see you later. here. I to do a different kind of video. <laughs> today, I wanted to make a video explaining to all of you guys mm -hmm. what happened to Tina. Yeah. You know, it's a big controversy going on right now about how she was lying, how she was vandalizing their house. Tina and how suddenly she disappeared from the channel last year, and a lot of people don't really know why. And admittedly, I didn't do a good enough job explaining to you guys the entire story, the entire situation. I didn't explain to you what was happening. I mean, even though you gave us small details, I still believe you either way because, well, I felt bad for all the stuff that transpired to your house and, of course, what's been going on and, you know. Happening, and I didn't fill everybody in, and so I decided that that's what I was going to do today. Mm -hmm. This is the story about what happened with Tina. And right. by the way, if you don't know who she is, the angry this. neighbor. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I can understand the reason why they removed the videos pertain to her. Tina was a good friend. Oh yeah. Everything that happened and everything. First time I saw was on the Fourth of July video that vlog the AGP head. She was crazy. She always came through. She was. Mm-hmm. I considered her a friend. Mm-hmm. And then everything happened, and it all snowballed, and everything got out of control, and we were no longer friends. And Unhinged. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm part of the blame. Maybe I'm part of the blame for that. Maybe I could have done things differently than I did, and for that I am sorry. You know, to Tina. No I worries, am man. Sorry. Maybe I handled things like a kid instead of like a man, but at the same time, so did you. Things got out of control really fast, and unfortunately, we are no longer friends because of it. The first part of this story is more of a cautionary tale for people who actually want to do YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that's going to happen if you start to gain any kind of traction on this platform is you're going to develop some haters. And we're not talking about yeah, and it never fails to. I get hate sometimes, but the way I take advantage of that is like I delete their comments and block like them. That's how I do. Bad stuff. We're talking about haters that decide to try to profit off of you. People who decide to open channels. It's pointless to try to profit out of anyone whom you despise. Success and try to talk about you to build a fan base mm -hmm. off of your hard work because what they'll do is tap into the other haters and that will become their fan base. And it really stems from the fact that they don't really have enough creativity to turn their selves Yeah, but most into of the time, certain YouTubers don't donate. Or something that people want to watch, so instead, they just talk crap. Yeah. And that works. <clears throat> people enjoy it. A lot of people love shit talkers. I'm just not one of them. Now, the reason I'm bringing up I. making videos about you if you start doing YouTube is that's exactly what happened with Tina. That was the beginning of the end because all through 2016, Tina was obsessed with these channels. What were they saying? Why were they talking about it? everything that they were doing? And I would keep reminding her, Tina, these people don't matter. And you guys, I'm here to tell you that if you do a YouTube and these people start making videos about you, they don't matter. They're only tapping into your haters. They're not tapping into the people that actually care about you and that, yeah. that love you. Those people are going to look at what these people are saying and say, yeah, that's bull. And that's exactly what it is, and that's why I never responded to them. Guys, I don't respond to those people. 
Because if I respond to a bunch of lies, I'm just going to give a whole bunch of views to a channel that never deserved it in the first place. When there's so many channels out there that are trying to grow that deserve the spotlight a lot more than mm -hmm. somebody lying about me. Yeah. So I choose not to respond. And that's what I told Tina. I would tell her, listen, who cares? And when it comes to exposing, though, it's what ruins some people's lives. Dropped, forget it, and the next day, Joe Haters Smoke do that 47 too. said this about me, and I would say, Tina, the video's got 12 views, so what? Yeah. Who's watching it? Obviously she nobody, almost. Well, it's the 12 cared. viewers that came to the video. to the point where me and Dad finally had to just make a video defending her, just in case she needed it. So, the other night, Grandpa took a fall, and he really hurt oh himself. Oh my god. And he to go to the hospital, and he wouldn't, and he was... And it was all because this guy was saying lies. He is not gonna hurt Tina. I'm gonna see to it. Michael and Bridget are gonna see to it. And I know you youngins are not gonna let him pull this shit no more mm -mm. on Tina. So yeah. I need to help with the youngins. I kept telling her, Tina, please do not use this video unless you need it because this is gonna give this person a lot of attention. So. Don't use it in case you need it. And well, this is the right time possible it, to utilize it to put it on it. YouTube. This guy's got no views. He's got no audience. He's just talking. Forget it. Why are you paying it any attention? These exposing channels, I swear. Her, that freaking out like this is what's giving them their power. It mm -hmm. became really apparent to all of us that there was nothing that we could do to change Tina's mind. That all of these channels were coming after her and there was nothing that we could do to stop it. So I came up with the idea for Tina to start feeding these channels misinformation. And she took me up on it. She started reaching out to all these hater channels uh -huh. and she started talking to them privately and she started giving them fake information and they would report it. Angry Grandpa's getting a peanut wagon for Christmas. And it was a whole thing and we would laugh about it. And mm. I started to notice that there was a change. And I think what happened yeah. is she started to feel important. She was talking to these haters and they would laugh at our jokes and they would talk about us and somewhere along the line she went from an undercover agent to just being another hater. Everything that me and Bridget thought was going to happen eventually happened because come January there was a leaked podcast that came out with Tina talking about A leaked us. podcast. I'll kill him. Yeah. I'll yeah. Just leak that, that clown video. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. You're like a grandfather to me. He said, ah, go fuck yourself and throw it in the garbage. Now it's important to know Despite the guys, first appearance, I always thought of Tina as a good friend too, but after seeing all this footage right here and stuff, but that's not what's important. I don't even want to what's important is it was it's starting to come back again. Behind our backs. And the same feeling I had when that Charlie had his issue had being a drug addict. From day one. She just didn't think that we did because we kept telling her to ignore everything. But if she would have just listened to me, I was telling her to ignore it for her own benefit so mm -hmm. she wouldn't get like this so she wouldn't be so afraid Tina if you would have just listened to me none of this would have happened if you would have just listened to me I wouldn't have had to hear you on a podcast talking about how you assaulted my father on purpose I wouldn't have had to hear you talk about egging my house and I had to file the police you know I could have been the bigger man I could have listened to that podcast driven over to Tina's house and talked to her and said hey Let's work this out because this is stupid. I could have done that. Instead, I decided to act like a boy. Instead of acting like a man, I decided to act like a boy. And I decided to say, screw it and cut Tina off. I decided that we were done with her. And in hindsight, that was a stupid thing to do. And Tina, I apologize. I should have talked to you. And, and look, I'm not apologizing that we caught you talking about us. But I do apologize. Yeah, because it's something that she triggered how from I, the get-go. How I didn't just go up to you and talk about it and say, hey, this can't happen anymore. I, I should have done that. But I didn't. And things happened the way they happened. I decided to write Tina off. And that just wasn't the right move. Once she saw the writing on the wall that we were done with her, she decided to go public and make a channel of her own. And on that channel, she would say that we were fake and that we weren't paying her and that we were mistreating her and didn't care about her. And none of that was true, you guys. We were always there for Tina. We always gave her money when she needed it. We were always there for friendship, for support. Whatever she needed, we were there for her because 
I'm a strong believer in keeping your friends and your family close because mm -hmm. they're all you have. Yeah. And when she turned her back on us, I was so hurt. You know, I even went as far as to make an addition. Even I feel like when, when it comes to people turning people down. Just talk me then do this thing she did this so she get rich it she oh, get it I'm sick of getting used it just finish it's true I got the proof to prove that it was you it's all too much stuff to put up with I'm studging up she just kept running her mouth and talking about us and I was getting angrier and angrier and I wanted to address it so I decided to make one video on my vlogging channel and on that video I showed text messages and I showed clips and I showed that we were a friend to her when she was saying that we weren't. And I did everything that I needed to do. I covered my bases and I was done with Tina. Unfortunately, <clears throat> she wasn't done with us. She decided to keep making video after video after video after video about us and just being Man. belligerent and, in my opinion, crazy. And it got to the point where I had to hire a lawyer and take uh -huh. Tina to court for defamation of character. And when it became apparent that there was nothing that we could get from her, I decided to go after it criminally because she had definitely wronged us. She had egged our house. She mm -hmm. was digitally harassing us. She committed vandalism. I wanted it to stop. So we went after yeah. a restraining order. And I'll tell you what, guys. We got it. A lot of people said that we didn't get Oh, yeah. Court. Definitely. We got a restraining order. Okay? Mm -hmm. Tina signed it. Looks she legit, too. To it because she knew what she did was wrong. Yeah. She knew she was talking about us and saying stuff that she shouldn't have said, and she wanted it to be as done as much as we did. Uh -huh. So before we even got through the whole thing, we were playing audio clips and screenshots, and before we had to even finish it, she was like, you know what? I'll submit to it. I'll sign it. I'll take the restraining order. And as you can uh -huh. see, it's in effect until May of That's 2018. So we got a restraining order. It didn't specify the date, but. But we it doesn't matter. Who agreed to five years, but apparently in the state of South Carolina for a civil matter, you can only do one year at a time. But we got a restraining order against Tina. You're probably mm -hmm. saying to yourself, wow, Michael, you stood up for your family like a man. You took her to court and everything. He's been standing for his after. family like a man. Wrong. Wrong. We weren't even out of court an hour before she was making more videos about us. And the restraining order specifically covered digital harassment. And she didn't care. She kept making videos, videos out about of us. And, and some of them just straight up calling us by name. And so I decided I'm going to take her back to court. I'm going to try to get her to really leave yeah. us alone. And guess what? We took her back to court and we lost. Man. Okay, we live in a country where digital harassment just isn't understood by the laws enough yet, and we lost. Tina walked out of there smug, laughing, <laughs> gotcha, and it was, I was Dang. so angry. I was so angry that she beat us because clearly we were right. Clearly she violated the restraining order, and it became apparent to me that we weren't going to be protected by this. For, it, it's, it's, it's like worth as much as the paper it's printed on. It's not worth anything if they're not going to protect you with it. Yeah. So I decided right there, I'm done. We're not talking about Tina ever again. I'm finished. And I was. I was done. I stopped talking about her. Well, I remember that she kept doing life. the same thing. She kept making videos about them. And then October came. Mm-hmm. Dad was in the hospital. And I yeah. walked up to him, and he was, in, he was in the ICU, and I said, Dad, do you want to see Tina? And at first he looked at me, and he said, no, Mike, I don't. But I could read his eyes. I could tell that he just knew that we had so much turmoil in history oh, yeah. that he wasn't going to say yes to that. But I knew he wanted it, and I was like, I'm going to call her now. And I called her, and we talked, and I said, hey, we have our differences, but... You should come up here and talk to dad because I don't know if he's going to make it. And she did. And we talked and we hugged and we left the room so her and dad could spend the day together. And they and spent gonna, a long time together. And even though that happens, she still changed to, she sort of realized, you know, the time she lost messing with all this BS. I think she realized that by listening to all these people doing this and whispering in her ear that she should have been making all this money when, when, you know, we were making this and she deserved that. I think she finally realized that all of that cost her a year with her best friend. And it did. It cost her a year with Grandpa. A year she'll never get back. A year I'll never get back. 
The last year that I spent with my dad, he had to see me taking his best friend to court and getting a restraining order against her because she was harassing us. And that's not what I wanted to happen. That's not how I wanted him to spend his last year alive. And so he passed. And we invited her to the funeral. And I invited her to my I invited I asked her if she would come to my house afterwards and, and we would all talk and just reminisce and she didn't come. And that was the end of the story, or so I thought. Because last week I went to Grandpa's old house because I wanted to reminisce. I wanted to see where he used to live. Uh huh. And we ran into Tina. Yeah. What are y'all doing here, though? You didn't lose nothing here, though. I remember this footage right here. You got the other one over there? What do I got? I'm still right here, right? Right? Put the camera down, Princess! Give me Tumbo. It's all like Guilty Tom, man. Yeah. And it brought back all these horrible feelings, all these thoughts. And yeah, I had to admit, that part was funny right there. But out of pure honesty, that was messed up right there. Watching her in the hospital say goodbye to my father, realizing that we were friends again, and then seeing it just get flushed down the toilet because she wants to be angry about stuff that I can't change, stuff that she did that she should have changed, and I got pissed off that I never confronted her about it in the first place. I got pissed off that I left. I got pissed off that I didn't say the stuff that I needed to say, and I'm pissed off now that I never like came face to face with Tina and just and just told her how I felt and let like everything just leave all my cards on the table and I'm pissed off that I never did that so guys that's what I'm gonna do that's what this video is about if you're wondering why I'm telling you everything that happened between me and Tina yeah well there's a reason because in the next video this Friday I'm confronting Tina. Guys, you heard it from Kip on the camera. Uh, Friday is the confrontation with Tina. And if it does happen to upload on this main channel, I might react to it. If you guys want me to react to it, let me know in the comments. And smack the like button if you like this reaction. Now, here's my thing. When it comes to uh, friends, you know... I know there's an old saying, you have real friends and you have fake friends. And when it comes to friendship bonds, it's all about honor. It's all about honor and trust because you want to find a good friends who are not. Now, I remember when Michael said, when he was talking about Charlie Chill, the truth about Charlie Chill, he told us that he was glad that we know the difference. For those who support him, he was glad that we know the difference between real and fake. Now, People can change, and that's a sad truth about it. Truth hurts, and that's an honest to God truth, because trust me, I had so many friends in the past, and of course, yet they change, that's true, and of course, they forget about you, and of course, they even after the good you do for them, and stuff like that, but, yeah. Yeah, Tina was a very good collaborator when it comes to the Angry Grandpa show, but after seeing the stuff going on, like the vandalism, and the climax, the atrocious climax with between her and the Angry Grandpa show and stuff, and leak footage about her talking about the Angry Grandpa show, talking trash. Now, you, even after AJ was in the hospital, despite that time when you came and talked with him, you're still the same. You like, uh, it's just, it's just wrong. It's just hurtful to see how people can change, and that's the sad part about it. That's that's life, and it's hard to, and nothing can ever alter that. Like for real, man, it's. It's a sad truth, but yeah, where I'm from though, friendship is all about honor and trust, and you want to go with the right friends who are always there for you every step of the way, no matter what the circumstance is, and you want to go with the one who is full of honor, with trust, the person you can trust, trust like a family, and you know, just go from there, treat them like family and stuff like that, and that's how I feel about friendship, even though... I felt sad sometimes when it comes to losing friends, when it comes to people being fake, they... And on the outside, they say that they're your best friend, but on the inside, they don't feel that way. And that's how I feel about certain people. But at the very least though, I know... I too know the difference between real and fake, because I have a few real friends who definitely care about me and love me, no matter what. Because they recognize me, they recognize how pretend I am when it comes to college and YouTube and stuff. They recognize my pretend when it comes to kindness and sensitivity. And that is never going to stop, you guys. I'll tell you that right now because that's my sign. That's my zodiac sign, Cancer. And Cancer zodiac sign for those. I recommend you guys read up on Cancer. I know it might not be 
what your time or your busy schedule or whatever the case may be, but if you know anything about the Zodiac Cancer sign, or if not, look it up and see what that's like, because that's what I am, because I was born in July, and my date falls on that Zodiac, so, either way it goes, guys, yeah, that was it, and it's the saddest truth. Michael gave his opinion about Tina and the Quarries, he got a restraining order. I definitely applaud Michael for taking action against it, because what Tina did was, like, off the menu, so, yeah, the confrontation is coming on Friday, as he says, so, if it does fall on the main channel, if you guys want me to react to the confrontation, smack the thumbs up button, and I'll do it. Also, smack it if you like the reaction otherwise, because it really keeps me going. Subscribe to the Angry Grandpa Show, keep behind the camera, and other channels displayed. I'm going to add them in the credits, comments, and the outro of the video. If you guys are new to this channel, otherwise, make sure to subscribe for more content. Make sure to follow on social media. Also, join me on Twitch for our live stream on Fridays, Saturdays, and of course on the holidays. If you want to join my community, link in the description below. And don't forget to share because you care. And with that said, there are more videos to come soon. This is Super Red Ploid CLA. I love you guys to the fullest. And as always, I will see Red Ploids and Youngins in the next video. If you haven't already, please make sure to click the bell symbol located by the subscriber count. Just one click away, and boom. Hi there, Reploids. This is Super Reploids CLA. I wanted to take the time to say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you want more content, please subscribe. Don't forget to follow my social media for more updates. And in case you missed it, please check out my previous video or any video displayed. And please give tons of love and support. I look forward to seeing you at the Utopia, my dear Reploids.